Hey, what's going on guys from Gandy Customs here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to convert GTA 4 items or OBJ items to Grand Theft Auto 5. I am not sure at this time if Google SketchUp files work with this. I, uh, you're going to have to experiment with that by yourself. I'm not 100% sure this time. So in order to actually get this to work, you will need Zmodeler 3, a paid for version. And you also need Zmodeler 2 if it is a GTA 4 file which is what I'm going to be which is what I'm going to be converting today so what I'm going to be converting is this ALPR from Grand Theft Auto 4 I like it very much and uh, it's going to be in my new Tahoe that I'm making here so what we have to do first is we have to open up Zmodeler 2 now if you're not familiar with the Zmodeler 2 interface it's absolutely fine you're only going to be doing two things in here and that is the import and the export tool right up the top so what you want to do is you want to import your file where you saved the WFT for mine it's on the desktop here and as you can see we have it right here so it might not say it might say devices lost this and that blah 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 doesn't matter just straight away export it in the same file folder sorry and just name it old now what this will do it will export it as a z3d file which is more commonly known as a zmodeler free file i don't know why i can't go into the full screen that is weird oh well so what you want to do in front in here is you want to just merge in the old file where is it here it is so here we have the old file so now you will see our file oh, oh sorry our uh our mesh is now put into Zmodeler 3 but you'll understand and you'll see that it is all different colors which is strange so if you don't know how to fix that what you have to do is you have to come all the way up here now usually it will give you you know some like plain black or plain like gray meshes down here now however if you already have your vehicle already made it is common for Grand Theft Auto 4 materials to just be named light submissive or mesh so it will overlap as you can see here the console for the ALPR has been given a light texture now to fix that you're gonna have to make your own materials so I'm just gonna make a material here called ALPR new now I don't know what I'm gonna set it to for now so just for now I'm gonna set it to interior 2 I will probably be changing that later on in the build of this vehicle now inside of the ALPR new you want to open up your uh, material properties here you can double click on it or you can press that now inside of your material properties you want to add your texture of what you have just converted into into using modular 3 so here we have the textures that I need so I'm just going to take this here and I'm going to set it there so we don't need to edit anything else there we have now imported our new ALPR texture so we want to select the whole entire mesh that you've put in, or my, in my case it's an LPR. You want to go to your properties, make sure you're in object mode for this. You want to go to material, and then you want to find the material you just made or the materials that you have just edited. Now you want to go down here, and as you can see, it has turned into the correct texture. Now all you have to do is just go to the bottom here and you will see you have plenty of stuff here all i have to do is just fit it into this into this uh tahoe now if you have any questions please message me on discord there will be a new discord link in the description i understand that the old one has expired so i'm again the customs and i'll see you in the next video peace out